as I was doing that last little pan, this little uh, 60s vibe looking thing caught my eye. So I came over here to unzip it and see what we got. Oh, it's a little, it's a little tote and dry lady chic hair dryer. Okay, that's kind of stinking adorable. <laughs> Let me see how much that is. absolutely gorgeous day here in Las Vegas. I am so happy. It is springtime. Uh, this is like my favorite time of the year for a couple of reasons. It's warming up. The sun is shining, which just absolutely fills my soul with glee. And it means my tortoises are going to wake up anytime now. I've been working on their pens. They're not quite done. It's a big job. Um, I still got to go and add some more dirt and plant some stuff. But if they woke up now, they'd be okay. I would just have to feed them some other supplemental stuff in the meantime. But uh, today is Monday. And that means it is my big uh, postage <laughs> drop-off day. And I come to the main facility here in Las Vegas, which is like, it's the hub where all of the post offices in Las Vegas bring the stuff to for it to ship out of Las Vegas because it's right next to the airport. So uh, I like to bring the stuff here because it shaves off an entire day of shipping from dropping it off at like my local post office. So um, for those saying that I'm not a real reseller, okay, whatever. <laughs> I know my eBay is a little sparse, but eBay takes some extra work. You have to take pictures. You have to write up everything and add all the item specifics and measure it and all of that. And I just don't have the manpower at this moment. It is something that is going to be added here very soon, as soon as I can find people who want to work here in Las Vegas. Uh, so I'm working on that. I'm working on that. But yeah, I'm, I'm, definitely, I'm definitely qualified as a reseller. All right, that being said, we're gonna do a little shopping today. Not exactly sure where I'm going first. I think I might try some non-Goodwill stores. Let's see if some of that stuff is ending up. I'm gonna go to an independent thrift and I'm gonna go to a Salvation Army and let's go see what's ending up there. Uh, so let me get this stuff inside and uh, we'll head over there and get some shop done. Okay, we got everything uh, lined up. I just gotta go in there, open the door, and throw it in the bins. That's all done. Just to show you kind of what happens here, let me show you the docks over here. So over here, past that gate, there's all the trucks going to pick up all the sorted mail and drop off from the other post offices and stuff. So this is a big, big operation here and it's really cool to be able to use the bulk drop off and just drop all of these boxes and know they're going, they're bypassing so much extra sorting uh, because they're here at the main place. So um, if you've been expecting a package from me, it's pretty much on its way. Couple of, there's a couple, I say pretty much because there's a couple we haven't gotten done yet, uh, but that that's the majority right there. So hopefully you get your package in the next couple of days. Okay, I am first going to stop at the Salvation Army over in Henderson, Nevada. And I haven't been in here for quite some time. So let's get in there and see how their donations are coming in. Let's get shop done. All right, let's go. And we'll find a lucky cart. So their color tag is white. 
this week. And I gotta tell you, the clothing aisles are super full. This is Lorella Universal Cambridge. Made in USA. $1.99. I love that pastel yellow. All right, first thing in the cart. Let's see. That's a little home project. I don't normally start in the dishes, but that just seems to be the aisle that I found myself in first. It's a frog. Let's see who makes the frog. Can't tell. It's pretty chippied up. It's like a painted glass piece. So we will leave that. This looks like a 222 fifth pattern, but it's not. It's Prima. Prima design. Peacocks. There's only three, and that one's scratched, so we'll leave that. If there was four, I probably would have picked those up. But three small plates is not going to be worth my time to deal with. Savoy. It's a pretty pattern also. Okay, let's look in their little kind of miscellaneous. 1981 from New Mexico. It's kind of cool. This is a little Temptations trivet for 99 cents. We'll go ahead and grab that. Oh, too bad this is missing one of the little faucets. I really like that. Oh, that's a little purple fake plant. $1.99 wonder what Noah would think about this one. I think I'm going to get it. I like the splash of color. We'll find a place to put it. Got a little doggy back here. It's chipped though. He is chipped up. We got some Avon car decanters scattered around. This looks like Capitamonte. It is missing a piece and it's pretty chipped up, but let's just take a peek. Yep, there's the mark right there. It's uh, $3.99. So unfortunately, we will leave that. I really don't like shipping those either. It just breaks so easy. Um, and sometimes even your customer, in when they're unwrapping it, can chip it. And then that can come back to bite you too. So I usually don't deal in those unless it's something I can sell locally. All right, nothing else on these shelves. As I was doing that last little pan, this little uh, 60s vibe looking thing caught my eye. So came over here to unzip it and see what we got. Oh, it's a little, it's a little tote and dry Lady Chic hair dryer. Okay, that's kind of stinking adorable. <laughs> Let me see how much that is. How much is that? $5.99. You know what? I'm not even going to look it up. I'm just going to grab that. I am quite sure just even that case is worth the six bucks because that's really cute. So normally these shelves are pretty full, so it just could be that people are just not donating right now to any of the thrift stores. Because I know even Dog Junkies was kind of reaching out for donations. They were a little sparse. $1.99. That's kind of an interesting piece. All right, let's go look and see what the mugs might behold for us. Oh, there's a Charles M. Schultz, Sonoma County Airport. That one is in really bad shape, though. Yeah, I can usually get them clean, but it takes a little work. So I'm not really buying things right now that take extra work. Cause I don't have the extra time or manpower. What do we got under here? It's a Libby set. It is the the uh, silver leaves. Um, it's a hostess set. I have found these very, very, very hard to get sold. Oh, um, let's see. How much is it? It is $11.99. So there you go. We're gonna leave that one. Let's see what else. 
we can find here on the glass shell now. Nothing. Oh, look, there's another little Libby set. It's probably the same. Yep, it's the same pattern. It's just the wine glasses. So we'll leave that one too. Okay, so now I get a picture of what this is supposed to work like. I saw one of these the other day that wasn't new in the package, and there's a little brownie. There it is. Simple way to make perfectly even brownies. <clears throat> perfectly even brownies. There we go. We don't really make brownies in our house. Why is that, Noah? Why don't we make brownies? Brownies are good. I like the handle on that, but that's uh, pretty worn otherwise. Little teapot missing its lid. Not marked. All right, let's go over here. Looks like they've moved things around and now have some of the art and frames over here on this aisle. Give me an E. I don't need an E. I might have found my T. I might have. I gotta get Rachel to paint it though. Everything's always a project around our house. It's like we have so many things going on. Um, she has been focusing on finishing up some uh, art pieces that where she was commissioned to paint for a couple of people and um, oh give me an H um, and we've been getting the tortoises ready and we've been nursing a sick birdie but things are getting back to normal now by normal I just mean our regular busy without all the extra busy I do like this, but I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. Hmm. Nidra. Five-piece accessory collection. Goodness. That's a very, very large box. Very large box. Oh, that's kind of cute. That would hold a lot of candles. Look at that. That's... A really neat piece. I wonder who makes that one. Probably does not have a maker's. No, it's $5.99. It's got some weight to it too. That's, I like it. But I am going to leave it because it takes up a lot of space. Johnson Brothers Friendly Village has a chip. Uh, ooh. Hello, you beautiful little leaping jaguar. I think that's a jaguar, right? Is that like a hood ornament? He looks like a hood ornament. Ooh, he is on marble. He is really nice for $5.99. We're gonna grab him. Okay, I spotted these and I'm a little torn. I'm not really digging the gold, but they are turtle shells. They're not real. They're resin. Thank goodness. And I really would have had a problem with them, but oh, there we go. It says they were $25.95 at some point. Okay, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something with those. Alright, let's see. We're doing pretty good here, actually. That's really cute. It's just a floral piece. Super adorable, but that one is $10. So we'll leave it. Look at the big old gravy boat. I'm seeing gravy boats everywhere now that I found Carrie one because we were looking for a while. Ah, we got some pie plates down there. This is a very mid-century looking glass piece, but it's really chipped up on the top. And these are not forgiving for having any chips. They have to be perfect if you're going to have any resale value on those. It's funny how some things you can get away with having a little damage and other things you just can't. All right, that's it for this aisle. All right, spotted this little stoneware guy here. Okay, they kind of taped that lid in there. Uh, it's, oh, what is that price? Okay, stand by. 
Okay, it's five ninety nine. dollars um, So the, the way you can tell stoneware versus like just ceramic is stoneware normally has some little like dots, like it looks like stone. And it's also a little thicker and heavier in weight. I don't know who does this one, so we're gonna leave it for that reason. But give me a D. I guess this would be their plastics aisle. Yeah, it does look like they're seeing a reduction in donations as well. Ooh, they have carts coming out. We're going to peek in those, see what we can find. Got a lot of miscellaneous stuff. Going in a little bathroom stuff. Ooh, that's very pretty. Like a slice of agate. They do really well with these, so we're going to pick that up for $3.99. Alright, let's head over there. Let's see what's in the carts. La ti da fragrance for the home. Well, what are you, La ti da? It looks like a diffuser of some sort, yeah, or a little oil lamp kind of a thing. Let's see. Sparkly Christmas tree. Love is all you need. And a little shopping. Gotta have a little shopping in there too. Okay, I don't see anything exciting in that one. Bed risers. Hey guys, these are really, really good for raising up like a card table to take your pictures on. Um, I have like three or four of those stacked together to raise up my picture taking area. Oh, we got, whoops, Mona Lisa's falling out. There we go, she's photo albums. That's what Mona Lisa is. Okay, I got lots of breakables in that one, so we're not gonna dig too hard because I don't want to break anything. This is um, a nice little box I'm trying to get a better look at. Here we go. Hmm. Drew Estate is what it says. It's all dovetailed and it's only 99 cents so we'll grab that. Ooh, look at all these letters. We got a B. We got a C. We got another D. We've got a Kind of a sort of a bookend that could easily be put back together by someone but I would only buy it if there was two and I don't see two but I see a box with an elephant on it it's kind of nice it's handcrafted in Ghana $5.99 on that one yeah why not we'll grab that one too and I'm drawn to this pumpkin, of course, for 99 cents. I have one, actually like it, and now I have two. Let's see what goodies are in this one. Some more love. Love, love all the love. Hmm. I don't see anything else exciting in there. It does look a little sparse back there from what I'm used to seeing. So let's look real quick through these little textiles. I don't see anything. This is like the toys and kids stuff. Yep, and it's pretty wiped out too. So I think it's just a sign of the times, guys. It's just something that we are going to have to deal with for as long as this lasts, which we will, you know, come on, we can do this. Entrepreneurs are resilient. We get through the worst of times and we flourish in the best of times and we just hold each other together. That's what it's all about. We'll get there. I don't really like that one, believe it or not. I will leave that one. I was rounding the corner and I spotted this little, it's kind of like a little poster print of the Moulin Rouge 
spectacle tout in oh I really shouldn't try to do my French on this one because I just don't know it is $15.99 super cool poster but I got nowhere to go with art right now that doesn't mean I'm not gonna look through it just to make sure you know that thousand dollar piece isn't sitting in here and uh ooh, that's a wolf waiting to be discovered but something tells me it's not in this bin this is that brand i talked about before that is really good for some reason grandeur noel they are asking 15.99 for this nativity set that might not be a bad deal okay i'm pretty excited i looked at the comps this is a really really good find for $15.99 and it is all here so we're gonna grab that okay well it was a good thing we stopped in this store today because we are definitely finding some nice profitable items quite pleased with my little cart full not too much to manage but some really good profits sleeping fawn resort and campground park rapids Minnesota. Who makes this mug? Deneen Pottery. Why do I always manage to find the people testing vacuum cleaners? Goodness. Okay, we're gonna pick this one up. This is Deneen Pottery. Uh, it's a 2012 and it's 99 cents. Oh, look at this fat little snowman jar. He's really cute. Oh, he's a Hallmark. He was $3.99. We're going to leave him just because we're so far from Christmas right now. Oh, that looks like a hobby piece. Nope, that, that probably was like a 99 cent store piece. Okay, I think that's it for the holiday aisle. They had one more cart they brought out and I found this little guy for $1.99. He's a spoon rest. Super cute. We're grabbing him. The store gets a lot of furniture, and even this section is uh, a little down on stuff right now. So even the furniture donations are not coming in. Look at this little, looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex lamp. How cute is he? He's 10 bucks though. He's just a Walmart. Super cute. Super cute little guy though. Oh, somebody broke a snow globe right there. I always look over here just to see what kind of accent pieces they have put on things to try to find them a new home. And uh, I am spotting a whole basket full of fruit. $11.99 for all that fruit, but it's pretty common stuff, so we're going to pass. Okay, this is what I ended up with here. It'll all be in the recap. You'll see what I paid and how much it's worth. But first, I'm gonna head over to one more store. So the recap will be after that. That was fantastic. Wowza. Uh, they gave me 25% off on the nativity set because there was like some promo thing happening in the store. So I'll take it. So I paid like 12 bucks for the nativity. I think I spent less than $50 on everything. That was, that was pretty cool. All right, next we are at Castaways, which is another independent thrift store here in Las Vegas. So we're going to go in there and kind of put our finger on the pulse of what's happening in their donation world. And hopefully I will find somebody in there to maybe kind of ask how things are going for them as well. I'm just really trying to deep dive into what's causing the donations to slow down. I know there's a lot of theories out there. I know you guys are telling me in the comments, but they are theories until we get some actual verification. So I'm just uh, getting all the data that I can so we can figure it out. But anyways, let's get in there and see what we can find to turn around and sell. Uh, let's get shop done. So here's what the outside looks like. Big wide open welcoming doors, which we'll go in, see what we can find. Get us a cart. Right there. Okay, they're 
front display cases are a little bare right now. But the shelves look okay, so let's see if we can find any goodies. Here's some of my little black stem. These are like little cordial or uh, liqueur glasses, but what I'm finding is they're different sizes. They don't, they don't exactly match. I think I will leave those this time and just look around for some more interesting things. I think these are like probably like a pure one or something. If all four of them were there, I would probably get those. Let's see. Lots of dishes. This thrift store is located on Stephanie, uh, right before, what's the name of that street? American Pacific. No, is that it? Yes, that's the name of the street. <laughs> I highly recommend if you're looking for goodies to uh, come in here and see what you can find. These little thrift stores need our support just as much as the big ones do because they have all the same bills to pay. Look at this strawberry dish. How fun is that? You know what? I'm gonna grab that. I love it. This piece has a very uh, Le Creuset look to it, but it is not. It's just got that color. Look at, I'm like, I'm shedding. Okay, mugs, 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 mugs. Don't see anything that we can't live without in the mugs. I'm kind of standing back looking at the vases to see what kind of grabs my eye. I recommend doing that. What pulls you? What makes you go, I need to take a closer look. And then you put your hands on it and you go, yeah, mm, that one's not so great quality. That one, I'm not sure what that's all about there, but uh, we'll leave that too. But those two did kind of catch my eye and I had to look closer. But those were the only ones. Okay, I'm on the other side of the mug shelf. Looking to see if we missed anything. And I don't see anything that we missed. Oh, what a cute little... I guess that would be great for like melted butter. Like it goes with the whole corn theme. Hmm. I kind of like that. I kind of like it a lot, actually. I don't know if that lighting is really showing the color, but what I'm trying to see is if that's a crack. Yeah, darn it, it's cracked. Otherwise, I totally would have picked that up. Cute little, cute little dish. What would that be used for? I mean, it's small. It's super small. Another kind of little sauce dish, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. We're making this kind of a quick stop because I'm gonna go out to a Goodwill after this. And that will be on the next video. But uh, I'm curious to see, it's one of the best Goodwills that I normally go to that has tons of stuff. Uh, so I'm really anxious to see if their shelves are full. Oh, I see a spice of life. A kind of a cheese board. I may have a cloche to fit on that. I may. I might. And if not, I could probably find one pretty easy. So for $2.97, we're going to pick that up. All right, just looking through the rest of the glassware. We're making this a fairly quick trip because I do have to go pick up my kids today, too. Oh, it's for corks. Wine corks. It's a doggy wine cork holder. He's pretty cool. I think we'll grab him. All right, we are in the candle section. Juicy Watermelon Yankee Candle. You know, we can't burn candles in my house, but it doesn't mean I can't appreciate them. Okay, everybody take a smell. Take a smell. Oh my goodness. Oh, that smells so good. 
so good. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. That would just make your whole house just smell incredible. You know what? I might grab that for Jordan because Jordan can burn candles and does burn candles. So it's, uh, it's 97 cents. Jordan's going to get a candle. I mean, after all, I do go visit, so I'll still get to enjoy it that way. I think, uh, I think that's pretty, I think it's pretty smart of me, actually. Nice little trinket. That's interesting. It's got three little felts on it so that it stands, but it doesn't really want to stand. But this one is glass. Look at that. $2.97. We'll grab that. Alright, let's see. Lots of vintage wood items, but nothing like super exciting. This is kind of cool. What makes you... Oh, it's a Munensing? Manin, Munensing. That's cool. With the handle. It's very mid-century. $2.97. We'll grab that. These are so fun. Cha cha cha. All right. Got some tins. Some other stuff here. Some scales and bathroom stuff. Oh, I see a teapot we can look closer at. See who makes you. Make sure we don't lose that lid. It's a Saddler. It is a Saddler. How much is it? It is $4.97. I think. We're not going to get it because it's super crazed. But that's a good buy on a Saddler teapot. Okay, pets, pet, the kids section. Pets, kids, same difference, right? You know I had to look at this. He's missing a wing though. Um, don't see anything super exciting in this stuff today. Oh, this is so cool. I already have one of these. Ah, uh, this is the Biting Blossoms. I love it. Now I have two. $3.97. You are coming home with me. This is where they keep their baskets. And big flowers. And then here's the pet section. See, I saw it. That's what made my brain say it. All right, nothing else here. Yeah, we got a little bit of holiday stuff going on here. We don't see anything too super exciting. I'm gonna resist that pumpkin. I don't really, I like the ones that are shaped like a pumpkin. These ones are kind of weird the way they're shaped, so. I don't know. It's an OCD thing. I mean, after all, the whole point is it for it to be pleasing in my surroundings. So if it kind of makes me a little eh, then there's no sense putting it in my decor. Like, he's cute. Totally ghoul. Came from Kmart for $5.99 at one point. And now he's $0.97. Cents. All right. You can come into my collection, too. They have all their ornaments and little stuff over here and baggies on the side. And I love shopping through things this way. I don't see anything we need today, but I do love shopping it. So they have all of these um, blinking, twinkling treasures, blinking ornaments. New in the box. And they're 47 cents each. There's a snowman. This one looks like it's a little... A little cat. This one is a penguin, another penguin, and a bear. I think we're gonna grab all of those for 47 cents each. I think that's a that's a super good buy. Those will probably go in my Christmas in July live sale. So I dug through the plush bin a little bit. You can see it's all piled together in this one bin. And I found a Suvi's uh, Kentucky 
little horse plush. I probably won't be able to sell that one. You know who's going to grab it. I got this little Prince of Egypt DreamWorks camel. I got two trolls here. I don't think these are super old ones, but the price will definitely be right to uh, stock up on getting a group together. Um, this is a Feo Baby Fifth Avenue pig. It is super duper soft. Love this little guy. We've got two of these. They're big dog brand and I couldn't find any comps, but you know what? I'll take a chance just to uh, discover if these sell as well as like the t-shirts and the mugs. This is a Jemmy. I learned that if it's got that on it, it's a Jemmy brand. And hold on, wait for it. He twerks. <laughs> I got some little giveaway chickies for my live sales. And then this guy is a Gotha brand, I think is what I read. And it's an old English sheepdog. Really, really nice quality. So not so bad in the plush. Spotted this little shell animal for $1.97. I think that's a dog and I think we will grab that too. All right, we're gonna take a quick peek over in the lamps and then we're headed out of here. Okay, not seeing anything super exciting. This is a cool old lamp. You can see it's old. Look at the plug. Look at that brass. Not the original shade, obviously. Um, I'm not going to pick it up because I just don't need any more lamps right now, but I've always got to look. Okay, I think I'm going to take my little crew and check out of here and uh, head to another location. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you what I bought, what I paid, and how much it's worth.
Okay, that was a really great experience. Again, at Castaways, and I have confirmed their donations are rip roaring good right now. I got to talk to a lady who is here. She says pretty much all the time. Uh, so if you come into Castaways, what's the address? What's the address? I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna have to find it and post it. But it's on Stephanie, just north of American Pacific and this is a great little spot to go shopping because there's castaways there's Salvation Army and there is a Goodwill uh, but she says donations are great and they welcome resellers their pricing is phenomenal they run specials uh, and she I actually gave her my number she is going to text me all the really good specials that that they're having on um, Thursdays they switch their color and run stuff for 47 cents and just so if you are a local come and check out castaways again they are another independent thrift that supports a really good cause and uh, yeah so tell them the niche lady sent you they know who I am now <laughs> uh, so with that I'm gonna end this video and go pick up my kidlets and I'm going to go check out the Goodwill that is usually really, really good. And let's see how they are doing right now. Uh, so come back for that. Make sure you are subscribed and you hit that little bell notification so you know when those videos go up. Join me live on Mondays at 1 p.m. Pacific time where we talk about something to do with reselling and um, having some special guests on coming up so you don't want to miss those either all right with that go be profitable and make it fun see you on the next one